What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. Um, oh, I got a meeting at 930. <clears throat> I got to hurry up. I just want to talk about some things that I saw online. I, um, we could talk about some things. I'm trying to get these nails together. Girl, I really need to get my nails done. I really need to get my nails done by a professional. I'm just, I really, my cuticles, everything. I'm in badly need of a manicure. Um, shout out to Arsenio Hall. Um, but I am, I'm, I really am. And it's just, it's just a, if you got a close up on these hands, honey, you'll be like, Erica, girl, what the fuck? Um, I love, and you know what's so funny? I love nail art, but I'm too mannish with my hands. I mean, I have, I move too fast. I don't have time. I'm not dainty with my hands at all. I be having my hands in dirt. I, yeah, girl, I don't, I'm not dainty with my hands at all. So I can't really have that. I don't even know how y'all be doing the pointy, pointy. It'd be so pretty though. I like really have like, look at my, my for you page on Instagram. You see all the nail? I love nail art. I, I think it just, I think people, the nail technicians are so fucking creative and so just really creative. And I've been wanting like the art on my hands, but I, I'm too, I move too fast. I can't, I, uh -uh. I if I have nail, I, they have, they're going to have to be really, really short. So I do take like, these like like this watch here let me show you the ones that i i have saved i'm gonna show you i love nail art i do i really do these this is the size that i would have to get where is it these right here these are so fucking cute look see though i would have to get that size like that or like um like these like oh my god these are so cute too see how cute they're so cute. Oh my God. And what else? These are so cute with the mushrooms. Like when I tell you, they are so talented. The girls are talented. I fucking love nail art. These two, like I, I do the, I like the short nails. So I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to get my nails done. I probably will just do some press ons because I don't like, and another thing is my nail beds are real, like they thin out so fast and then all of a sudden they get like tender. I don't know if you, you ever experienced that, but your nail beds get tender. So I feel like they, they take off too much, um, too much nail, your real nail. I don't know, but yeah, I need my cuticles done. I need all this. I need all this done. I need all this done. So yeah, I wanted to talk about some things going on the Grammys. I didn't watch it. I just, um, shout out to Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus looks good as hell. I was listening to her album the other day. Y'all told me, shout out to T with Dre. Y'all told me to listen to Miley's album and that it was really good. And so far I like it. I like the messaging in her music. I really do. Cause for a long time flowers, I kept hearing flowers, um, on Instagram and on TikTok and stuff. I honestly, you know, Miley has a deep voice. I thought it was, a, I thought it was a boy, like a, a young, I didn't, I, and I, I wasn't really listening to the song. Like I can buy myself flowers. I can write my name in the sand. I can something, I can talk to myself about things you don't understand. I can take myself dancing. I can hold my own hand, but I, but I can't, but you can't love me better than I can. Something like that. So that's, I'm just going off the head. Hopefully I remember it. But I didn't even listen to the lyrics. I just thought it was a boy singing. I wasn't really paying attention to the song. And then I was like, that's Miley Cyrus. Shout out to Miley Cyrus. Cause she can sing. She can sing. She sounds good. She looks good. I love this rock star seventies, eighties era that she's in. Did you see her hair at the Grammys? It, it looked like a, a lion. And then she had on this dress that was, uh, looked like safety pins. It was gold. It looked like safety pins when you get up close and it was cute. It was like a little like shields over her breast and it was giving, it was giving Tina Turner. She had on some, uh, another, uh, I was on her Instagram with her Instagram. She had this picture of her in an elevator and she had on all black and just skinny, just skinny and fucking the heels and just her legs. She was looking good. I was like, shout out to Smiley Miley Cyrus. Um, I was about to leave. That's why I turned the car on. And I was like, let me just come down here and talk about a little bit more things. But look at these nails. They're so cute. I, th I, I do want to get my nails done. Look at these. Aren't they cute? So that's the size that I have to go for. I think I'm going to do it. But I like a square, but I also like the little oval. I think the oval is cute. I like the way the girls are doing their nails with the ovals because it looks more natural, like with the oval nail um what's her nail name's nails was looking real cute um ariana from vanderpump rules i was looking at her nails when she was making her her latte the other day and i was like that's cute the hers are cute because they're kind of long and pointy but they're still like oval that's what i really like but anyways i, I love nail art 
I just feel like I'm too mannish. Like these right here, these are sickening to me. Look at that with the gold fire and she's gonna like put some gold powder on it, watch. Look, oh, they're so pretty. But look, ah, oh, that shit is fire to me. Look at them gold flames, girl. I love it. Anyways, so what are, what are we talking about, girl? That was, that's my, my section. I, you know, on Instagram, it lets you put stuff in like little folders. And that's my, I have a nail art section. I do, I love, I, when I tell you I love nail art because I'm so uh, fascinated by the creativity of these nail technicians. I think it's amazing. I think it's absolutely amazing. Let's see what's happening on Neighborhood Talk. Oh yeah, we had the Grammys. Jay-Z got up there and said, well, I thought it was very funny when he says, I'm sorry. But when he said, um, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. I thought that was hilarious, hilarious. But um, he was up there with Blue, um, I, I think it's fucked up that an award is named after a woman beater, Dr. Dre. I don't think an award should be named after him. There's other people in music that have made an impact that haven't harmed people on their journey. There, there's so many other people you could have named that award after who hasn't harmed people. Bitch, you could have, I mean, I guess because he's a producer and all that other stuff, but I would have rather had it named after Pharrell or a producer who hasn't harmed, that we have full knowledge that that man has not harmed people in his career. Dr. Dre punched D. Barnes in her fucking face. He abused Michelle A. And he probably abused Nicole and any other woman who came in contact with him because he has a deep, deep, deep hatred for women. You can even see it in the way he talks. He wants to explode. He looks like he's about, he had an aneurysm and I've said it, I've said it for years that Dr. Dre seems like he's ready, like he's like about to combust. Even the way he talks, it just, it feels like a contents are under pressure when he talks. And, and I, and I just have a feeling, I do have a feeling that he's just, he's trying to suppress his real desires and I feel like, the, like it's men, you know, I'm, and then, and he has just like this hyper masculine energy about him. And he really does not like women and probably hates that he can't live in his truth. So I'm going to beat women because I really hate you, bitch. I want to be with men, but I live in a society that won't accept me like that. And I have this internalized hatred for women and homosexuals, but I can't live in my truth. So I'll partner with you and beat your ass up. Cause I'm mad because I can't really be with a man. That's what I see when I look at Dr. Dre. I can be totally off, but that's what I see. But I don't understand why a fucking award was named after him, an impact award. There's other people who've made impacts in music that haven't harmed people on their way. Fucking, they could have named the shit after David Foster, the, the, the writer who used to be um, uh, married to Yolanda on Housewives. He's a writer. And he's probably ain't shit to women, but you know, I, we haven't heard of him abusing women or children. They could have, they, there's so many people they could have named them Grammy, that Grammy award after, but anyways, they gave it to Jay-Z. It's a black award. The award looks nice. Um, they gave it to Jay-Z. Um, and he basically said, I think it's based on your metrics, a person who has the most Grammys out of everybody in musical history, and they have never won album of the year. There's a internal battle where you don't really fuck with these, these uh, white male dominated organizations, the Oscars, the, the Grammys, all of these organizations that give creatives um, awards for their artistic excellence, right? And that's what the award should be for. It shouldn't be a popularity contest. It should really be for artistic excellence. It really should be. But we live in a society that doesn't really give a fuck about the arts, wherever, whatever it looks like. They don't give a fuck about the arts, but they want to siphon and make money and profit from the artists. And they mistreat the artists. They mistreat them because it's mistreating the creativity. And you find men who are not talented. They're, they have no fucking talent at all taking money from these people in the way of managers or whatever, record labels, record deals or whatever. It's designed that way. They don't give a fuck. And really, you shouldn't give a fuck about these awards. But as an artist, you do want to feel like you have been acknowledged by your peers for contributing to music or whatever the art form is in such an excellent way. 
and you don't give Beyonce album of the year. And I keep, I, I say it every year. Y'all love Beyonce. These white motherfuckers don't. Every, how many times has Taylor Swift gotten album of the, of the year? I think like three or four times. I can tell, I can't name a Taylor Swift record. I can't. I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get what all the hoopla is about. Y'all need to explain to me what is the hoopla about with Taylor Swift. I don't get it. But bitch, I can't wait to her and Travis, Travis Kelsey break up because you know how she put an album out every time she break up with a motherfucker, she put an album out. So that album's going to be really good when they break up. I don't get it. But anyways, he said, based on your metrics, how, the, how does the person with the most Grammys out of all of us never has album of the year? I don't want to embarrass this young lady talking about his wife. I don't want to embarrass her, right? Because everybody get up on stage. They add, they're advocating for her. And she might be embarrassed, but she might be like, get up there and say that shit. She might secretly be like, yeah, hell yeah, fuck that. But we know Beyonce supports Taylor Swift and Taylor Swift supports Beyonce. So there's no rivalry, but who's voting, right? You don't even know who's voting. You belong to the Grammy uh, Association. You don't know who's voting. They don't tell you. You submit your work and see if you win. Beyonce should have won for Folks Say Lemonade, her self-titled, definitely Renaissance. Renaissance, like JC said, you a DJ can put on the Renaissance album from start to finish and not have to look it. And when I tell you I love Rottweilers, I think they look like little teddy bears. Look like, they're so cute. I'm glad he didn't cut his tail. I'm trying to see if that's a girl dog or a boy dog. I can't. I, can't, I don't see no nuts because you don't know that could could be um fixed. But anyway, um, he said I don't want to embarrass this young lady. He said by your own metrics, right? I'm gonna get up here and say what I, what the fuck I gotta say because it's true. You know, I, I but I just don't think they're they are ever. If Beyonce was a man, she probably would have won. But because she does deliver excellent work, she does. It's excellent. It's excellent. And there's no, there's nothing. It's not mediocre by any means. It's excellent. And then the rollout, and then, and then the tour, and then, bro, how the fuck she don't get album of the year for Renaissance? It was literally a cultural reset, girl. So I'm with. I, I agree with him. You know, I, I do agree with him. I don't think, I think it's odd for her to have so many awards. I think she has 30 something award, 30 something Grammys. How many Grammys does Beyonce have? 32 with 88 nominations. But no album of the year. It doesn't even, it doesn't even make sense. Like at least make it make sense, girl. Shout out to make it make sense, but at least make it make sense because for real, like how girl, I want to know how, how does that work? What else is going on? They said, what's her name, girl, <laughs> girl, you better have, you better go under witness protection. Yolanda, Yolanda Saldivar, who killed our beloved Selena, honey, girl, she's, a, she's getting ready to say she's, um, she's a, She's ready to spill the tea from the slammer. Girl, you better watch your back. Because I have a feeling she's going to end up like Griselda Blanco. You're going to think you out of the game and off somewhere in Cuba somewhere. And somebody's going to roll up on you and take you out. Because the girls have not forgotten. There's going to be somebody to avenge Selena's death. I promise you. That lady better watch her fucking back. Because the girls are not happy with Yolanda. Yolanda. Sexy Red was in the hospital getting her hair done before she got out. She was on the damn hospital bed with her legs wide open, showing her, but just, just, just living up to the, the whole little stereotype. And, and I think she does it intentionally. Um, Y'all agree? Recording Academy called out for allowing Lizzo to present an award. Girl, they named an award 
after a woman beater. Dr. Dre Impact Award. Take the fake outrage out of here, girl. Right, where's the energy for naming an award after Dr. Dre? Thank you, exactly, exactly. But when I tell you, black men especially, and men just as a whole, I was listening to Favo, Favo Foreign, I think that's his name, and he was talking about how he doesn't think Meg was shot at all. I want to find that clip. I do want to find that clip. Because I left a comment and I was like, did he really just say that he doesn't think Meg was shot? I'm like, what? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me find it. Here. Okay, here. I fuck with Tori, right? I know Tori as a real person. In my eyes, I don't even know Tori for even having guns. You understand? Like, I know him. Like, we done did music. We done chill. We done, you know what I'm saying? I know his personality. I'm going to tell you something about one thing that men do where they fuck up every time. You go up for a man in his most violent display of humanity, of being a human. He, he's the most violent. He's a menace to society. But none of these men ever acknowledge when the niggas ain't good. They always, they always assume this person is a good person. I've never seen him with a gun, even though he was on probation. I've never seen him with a gun. Okay. I know he's a good person based on what? When he's around you? Because he likes to run up, buckles clinking down the hallway and jumping up and hitting people in the face. Hello, August Alcina. This is after shooting Meg. He not only shot Meg, but according to the court documents, he beat Kelsey's ass that night too. Everybody seems to forget that. He beat her ass too. And the fact that she even goes up for him, bitch, unpack it. Because <laughs> that shit is crazy at, at, in itself. You, This man whooped your ass the same night he shot your friend and you still going against her? You won't even sticking up for your fucking self? Unpack it, bitch. Unpack it. But what men do, they always go up for men just because they're men and they never take into account that you don't have a clue what this man does to people in private. Look at Puffy. I love, 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 love. It's all, it's the energy I'm on. I'm, I, I, this, that's the energy I'm on. I'm on the energy of love. You're not. You're a liar. And a scammer. And a person who traffics people. You don't even know the uh, the first clue about love. Spell it. And for some reason, they, they none of these raggedy ass, degenerate, reprobate, dusty, musty motherfuckers never know a nigga who ain't shit. They don't, none, no, we say niggas ain't shit. They don't know no niggas who ain't shit. Every nigga they know is an upstanding felonies and fucking mug shots. Everything they know about a nigga is he's upstanding. He's upstanding. He, I don't see him as that type of person, and I'm, I wasn't there, and I'm not a lawyer or no scientist. But if somebody said they got shot and there's no hole in a in a body, they didn't get shot. We all know that, right? Mm. But nah, this should go. I fuck with Tori, right? I know Tori as a real person. In my eyes. I don't even know Tori for even having guns. One. And then when and another thing you stupid ass niggas do, y'all sit in community with each other and let a motherfucker say some shit like this, knowing good and goddamn well he sounds retarded. Yes. And don't say a word and just sit there. That's why I say you good niggas, y'all ain't loud enough. Fuck you too. You ain't loud enough, nigga. You sit around and let these niggas say some dumb, this is literally dumb shit. And y'all sitting up there, not saying nigga, that sounds crazy. Because God forbid you go against each other. 
Nigga, that sounds, that don't even sound smart to say. Nigga, shut up. Don't say that. That sounds crazy as hell. So, nigga, you telling me you, you, the woman has to have a hole in her foot in order for you to believe that she was shot? It couldn't have been that it, she was shot in that direction and something hit the ground and then hit her in the foot? That, that couldn't be a possibility? No, I don't know. He's not that kind of person. You mean the kind of person that jumps up and hit somebody not for not speaking to them? He hit all this Alcina for not speaking to him. He ran up and jumped up because he couldn't reach. He had to jump up his little legs flinging in the air as he jumps up and hits August Alcina. But that's not the kind of man you know. I'm going to read some of the comments. I said one thing a black man will do is uplift a menace to society who terrorizes women. I have 35 replies under here. Let's see what the people say. Here's a woman, Erica. But he didn't have an assault charge with an automatic, with a semi-automatic before. They need to be mad at him for not testifying on his own behalf. Somebody says that part. Another person says, yep. Somebody says, no, he didn't. And some, another woman says, you motherfuckers just be saying anything. Yeah, I noticed that too. Only if he defended us the way he defended that other and a good woman that holds him down, especially if it's a black woman. I really left this comment, but they deleted it because they said, it. I don't know why they deleted it. Um, but I took a screenshot of it because I said, um, I said black men, this is, this is how I feel about the way that black men and women, especially black men are responding to Megan the Stallion. First of all, ain't no motherfucking black man going to take the rap for a, a black bitch. That's number one. There's that's number one. He's not going to take responsibility for something he did not do. The only time a nigga will take a rap for somebody is for another fucking man. But niggas don't take raps for women. Women take raps for men. Hello, Lil' Kim. But they don't take raps for women. They don't. You think a nigga's going to sit in jail for a black woman? Are y'all crazy? You think a man is going to go to jail for something he didn't do for a black woman? Black man can't get over the fact that a little leprechaun menace, dusty, low level black man is being held responsible for his domestic terrorism against a black woman. He, she's supposed to pay. The violent he inflicted on Kelsey and Megan that night is supposed to be rewarded. We all know the black community uplifts and protects their most violent predators. They love being terrorized by these menaces to society. We know a man's violence against a woman is vengeance to them. They enjoy seeing women in pain. He's supposed to get away with it. She's not supposed to be winning. This goes against everything they believe in. She, she represents everything they go against. First of all, you wasn't supposed to say nothing. She tried not to, but you want to come out and get ahead of the story, just like you did when you set up that, that thing with that black woman and, and made it seem like you were putting the dark-skinned black woman ahead and was and we come to find out it was all a fucking setup. It was all to deceive you. These men do not fuck with y'all in the way that y'all want them to fuck with you. Ain't no fucking black terroristic reprobate man about to take the rap for a black woman. Y'all y'all are already fucked up for even thinking that. And why the fuck would he call from jail and apologize for something he didn't do? Why? Why? Let's read some more of the comments. Geneva, shout out to Geneva from Blood, Sweat, and Heels. She said, enough of this. Shout out to the diva. I mean, everybody can be lying on this girl. We all have to admit where there's smoke, there's fire. Too many celebs have come to defend Tori's character against, against Bigfoot. People also defend R. Kelly, even though he's on tape raping Sparkle's niece, who was 14 years old. Exactly. Somebody said, schedule a conjugal visit, like Meg said. We done seen him assault multiple people, but he ain't that type of person. Okay. State of California versus Tory Lanez. It was never Meg versus Tory. He's in there, sealed the deal they didn't, and didn't even defend himself. Apologized and said he still loves her. The fuck y'all bringing up this stupid shit for? Queen Michelle says one thing a man going to do is keep gaslighting and pussy popping for the next nigga. That's what when, when I tell you these niggas, but they be pussy popping on a handstand for each other. Popping they pussy, honey. Dr. Dr. Dre, fabulous. Chris Brown, NBA Young Boy, Little Oop Zivert, Diddy, Bow Wow, G Herbal, Famous Dex, Rich the Kid, Nas, Joe Button, Floyd Mayweather, T Terrence Howard, 
My, uh, Mike Tyson, Flavor Flav, Columbus Short, Ray Rice, Wesley Snipes have all been accused and charged with DV. And a lot of these men we know committed the same crimes from missing teeth to some of them being on camera beating women. And they are still celebrated as if nothing happened. Dr. Dre named his headphone Beats. Like, really? Many of the victims of these men are still walking around in the industry. Imagine the trauma the women have to deal with. They truly don't give a fuck about women. Tori Schottenegg, he was found guilty. The end. This, this is the comment right here. Name all these niggas out. Call their names. Y'all be protecting me. Y'all love niggas terrorizing y'all. Y'all love these niggas terrorizing y'all. Y'all love it. Get his name tatted so we know it's real, right? Why do they keep posting this narrative? What does this do? He's in jail. She was shot. Move on. My gosh. Men don't know the true, men don't know the true nation, nature of other men. It's always not my friend when it's indeed your friend. That, lit, lit ladies, stop saying that men don't understand the nature of other men. Laws would not exist if men didn't understand the nature of other men. Your age of consent laws would not exist if grown ass men didn't understand the fucking disgusting nature of grown ass men. They know it. Laws exist because men under laws exist to keep men in order. Your Bible is it exists to keep men in order. The shit is to keep men in order, not y'all men. Download JPay or pay him a conjugal, conjugal visit or something. Why do these men have so much say? Like, bye. The hospital says she was shot, so she was shot. Next on the docket. And the Jasmine brand. Can we please put this to bed once for all? It's Black History Month, for goodness sake. Oh, my God. Y'all act like it wasn't a whole trial with judges and evidence and shit. Somebody said, I want men to stop talking. Another one said, is he dumb or is he stupid? Someone say, download JPay and write him a letter or something. Megan Thee Stallion. I'm convinced every, everybody has IEP at this point. Tori did it. He's in jail. End of story. So, so he was apologizing for what? He was saying she would never speak to him again for what? What? When a man defends an abuser, it makes me see him as an abu abuser too. They are abusers. And they take joy in watching women be abused. When a woman is harmed, other men sit around and believe that she did something to deserve it. She did something to deserve whatever violence is inflicted on her. Well, what did you do? What did you have on? What did you say? What did you do for this man to enact violence on you? A lot of these niggas don't need a reason. And then what happens when the man comes out? What do you do? Give him the benefit of the doubt. Let him say whatever the fuck he wants to say. And you believe everything he fucking says, even if it's against, even if it's against all the evidence presented. But don't, don't smile at me, white boy. Okay. I'm going to get out and jump on your muscular back. <laughs> Anyways, I wasn't there. So hush. Right. Exactly. It's women that, that married serial killers and never saw the signs, baby. What's your point? Because I'm tired. Write him a letter and hush. Exactly. Uh, uh, what's his name? Was married. Y'all you know, know that um, Ted Bundy was married. Richard Ramirez got married after he was in jail. Richard Ramirez used to take people's eyeballs out and take their fingernails off their fucking hands and pluck their fingernails out their fucking hands and pull their, he used to torture people and got married. A woman married him. A woman saw the value in his existence, child, girl. What else? Um, somebody said, far from a fact, you can tell your daddy wasn't shit because y'all hate black men. Your daddy probably wasn't shit nigga stop projecting okay <laughs> anything if you hate your daddy just say that if you hate your mama nigga say it y'all hate women raised by women i used to i used to be so i didn't understand Somebody says, unfortunately, I will have to disagree, disagree with you, sis. It's just that these males get more attention from the stupid stuff that they say. They're not men. They just have men body parts. And that's another thing. The good guys, they always try to say, that's not a man. That's a boy. Girl, it doesn't even matter. That boy, man, boy, whatever the fuck you want to call him, he ain't shit and your ass ain't shit either because you're trying to separate yourself 
instead of telling these niggas they ain't shit. Y'all too busy trying to other yourself like you're not like other men. You bitch, you the same fucking way until you prove not to be. And when you stand up and defend another man, you just prove to me you are exactly like his ass. And fuck all you niggas who ain't an ally to black women. Fuck you with a fucking sick dick. I promise you. Put an umbrella in your ass and open it, bitch. All men who hate women but want the bodies of women in the comments shook. I'm glad women are waking up and realizing men don't like women. They only want you around to service them. Let's hope the rest of the women wake up because Christian, what's his name? What's his name, son? Herschel Walker, son. Listen to him. Like, well, what do I get in return for paying for dinner? Baby boy, you get to be in her presence. If you want things, go date a man. You need to be dating a man. The problem with a lot of straight guys is they don't like women. I'm not attracted to women, but I think I like women more than a lot of these guys. There have been wars fought over women. There's countries where a man can even be in the same room with a woman who he isn't related to. That's how powerful and strong and desirable and valuable femininity and womanhood is. And, and men in the West are like, well, what am I getting in return for holding the door open for you? You get to be around her. You do things for her to convince her that you're a protector, a provider, you're safe, and she spends time with you. And in return, you get to be around her. You want a provider? Date men. I can give you a lot of advice on that if you need that. You shouldn't be dating women. If you want things in return, if simply being around her isn't enough for you, you're dating the wrong woman or the wrong gender. That's it. This is ridiculous. Men are like, well, what do I get? The comments are crazy. And all of the comments from men are about his sexuality. And I told, and I said, y'all are, are commenting on his sexuality, but not what he's saying. You're, you're not even defending the fact that he said you hate women. You're so worried about him being gay. And y'all for a year and a half or two years stayed salivating on your knees, listening to a gay man bash women, Kevin Samuels. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Kevin Samuels like dick. And the girls know and the kids know. And y'all was sitting over there listening to him. And you know why you overlooked him being gay? Because he hates women just like you hated women. But you have this gay man who says, I like women. I'm not even attracted to women and I like women. Y'all don't like women. Y'all so busy talking about he's gay, he's gay, he's gay. Can't no gay man give me advice and all this other this dumb shit. They actually can give you better advice than you getting from other straight men. That's the truth. But their advice is going to center women and y'all don't like that because y'all don't like women, period. And that's just it. I got to go. Take care of each other. Protect your um, energy. Let me read you. I said, y'all listen to Kevin Samuels and he was gayer than a bluebird singing on Sunday morning. Oh, but he hated women just like y'all. So y'all loved him. Somebody said, correct. He also died with a prostitute, not surrounded by a wife and ch children. Somebody said, ooh, we, I love you, girl. Somebody said, church. Somebody said, the, who the fuck is Kevin Samuels? I said, a mummy. Um, no man wants to be with no woman that's going to feed and live off of him and not do jack shit. The pro First of all, black men, y'all are in no position to think anybody. Can't nobody live off of y'all. Can't nobody. Your broke asses don't even fucking make the average of $40,000 a year. You are costing the U.S. economy $50 billion because y'all ain't working. Don't nobody want shit from y'all. Don't nobody can't can't nobody. What do they say? What do the old people say? It's like um trying to get something out of a turnip. What do they say? It's like trying to get blood out of a turnip, or some of the people say, Ain't nobody want nothing from y'all. Y'all can't give nobody nothing. In fact, when people partner with y'all, they are what? Thrusted into into poverty, catapulted into po poverty. Don't nobody want nothing from y'all. Y'all ain't got shit to give. That's the gag. Y'all act like somebody wants to get with you so they can get something out of you. You don't even have a job, nigga. Shut the fuck up. When was the last time you got your teeth clean? When was the last time you got your prostate checked, nigga? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up. Don't sound like you like gay people either. If you listen to that, if you listen that, you'll use that to insult straight men. I don't think being gay is an insult. I don't think being gay is an insult. I don't think that you can insult you. I don't think that being feminine is, is an insult. I don't think that none of that is an insult. So a lot of times y'all be saying things to like try to insult people. And it's like, I'm not insulted by you thinking I'm a lesbian. I'm not insulted by that because there's nothing wrong with it. 
Why would I be insulted by that? I would be insulted by you thinking I'm heterosexual and wanting to partner with a straight man in this society. I'm insulted by that. <laughs> Somebody said he lit he literally died in pussy. He literally did not. I, somebody said they do all that shit still don't get a body so what the fuck are you talking about y'all know y'all don't bring a man no benefits well y'all bring it but refuse to share it listen i could literally replicate you you fucking dummy period <laughs> and women don't want men around to be of service them to service them that's what this guy is basically saying service a woman so you can only get in her present and nothing else as if the presence is always good and worth the effort y'all make it hard not to want anything from y'all i said so so buy it so buy pussy with your cheap ass Y'all don't even want to buy pussy. Y'all hate women. Y'all don't want to wait around for pussy. Go buy it. But y'all don't want to buy it. The sex workers don't even want to fuck you niggas. Because you niggas is cheap trying to use Groupons and shit for pussy. Fuck out of here. Y'all got to go. I got a meeting in 40 minutes. I'm out of here. I think I've dragged niggas enough for today. Y'all take care of each other. Don't let these niggas play in your face. Cuss their asses out. The dust they bring, blow it right back in their goddamn face. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace. <laughs>